Well, really, these are the boots that I ride pretty regularly. I've been riding these DC Sean Whites for, I don't know, four to five years now. And um, I really like them because they're nice and broken in the way I like. You can see I've done a lot of repairs with like shoe goo and just, I like to ride really broken in boots. So that means you kind of have to know how to repair them. And now I've got a BOA cable that's broken here. And actually, if you look closely, these are two different dials because yeah, maybe like three years ago, one of these dials broke and I had to replace it, um, which is actually not the easiest thing to do in the world. But luckily, if you go to BOA and you tell them what kind of boots you have, what kind of dial you have, they send you, um, you know, warranty kit replacements. But this is why a lot of people still like to ride just like traditional shoelaces. You break a shoelace, much easier to fix than a boa. Um, but I just really like these boots and how they've broken in over time. So I like to keep my gear as long as I can. But yeah, this boa, so the dial spins that way. Now to get it off, there's a little slot here that you can fit a screwdriver in. And then once that done, that's done, you kind of got to get a hold of this toothy section and you actually want to spin it to the right um, and if you release the clips in there spin that to the right this whole thing pops off and if you look at like the new dial you can see how those grooves and little clips kind of hold the whole thing in there so you don't want to damage any of this as you're taking it apart because ideally I want to keep this on there save this for if another one breaks and all I want to do is replace the actual cables. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and get in there with flathead screwdriver and any kind of good wide grip pliers. So let's see if I can get on there. So yeah, I think those pliers will grip that pretty well. just out like that. Um, so yeah, then inside of the boa itself is the housing for the cables. Yeah, it's all twisted up and snapped. So I'm just going to get all this out of here. And then the way this is all held together is basically just by tension. So you got to loosen it up. And this is where I also think a needle nose pliers really helps out with this project. So you can get in there, loosen it from the one side. All right, getting all that old cable out of there. And then send it back through the other direction. Pull that out of there. All right, so that's a little frayed. So I'll probably want to just straighten this side out. Pull that through. There's one of the old cables. And then, yeah, kind of same thing on this side. You just push that through. Get that out of there. And yeah. So there's my old broken cable, but yeah, the uh, tightening mechanism itself is still good. So 
So now, got a new cable. And on these boots, um, there's two cable systems. There's one here for the top, and then the side one here is for the bottom. So it's kind of nice that it's just this section that needs to be replaced. Now, I remember when I did this the first time, and the most frustrating thing was that these broke, and it took them a couple of days to ship this to me. And I couldn't use these boots for that time. Um, but if I remember right, when I did it all online, um, it was pretty quick and simple. So honestly, if you own a pair of BOAs, I might just see if you can get a replacement kit just to have in your gearbox. And that way, if they ever do break, um, you have it on hand and you don't have to wait for them to ship it. These just broke yesterday, so I was lucky that I still had all the old gear. And the side one is a different BOA, so like this would not work there. You can see how they're a different size. Um, but luckily, yeah, it was all the front piece. So maybe I'll see if I can get some extras of these. And I don't know if the cable length down here is different, but I feel like it should be pretty similar. So yeah, now, just gotta lace it. So yep, you want there, there. And then you just feed it through that side, comes out the top. Same thing on this one. nice and even and then you just feed it each one goes in through the side get that one there come across all right now the last time I did this this was one of the trickiest parts was re feeding it through the actual tightening mechanism. And this one's kind of old, so it's hard to see the actual red dot, but there's like little indicators on the bow itself that kind of show you where you want to feed each cable from each side to kind of start in there where the red dot is. So it goes in that way, loops back from where you started and then there's like a little notch where the very tip of the cable will go and once you do all that get it tight it just holds so we're going to try and keep the old one on there and I don't think it particularly matters which cable goes in which side you just always want to make sure it's kind of going in where that red dot is so yep there goes one side then back through the other. And then one last piece goes in right about here. And then just, yeah. Hold it while you pull everything back through. Keep it tight. And yep. Maybe the needle nose will help me here. tight and yeah that side's locked in so I'm gonna kind of make sure it's nice and straight all right now we just got to do the same thing but from the other end
tight. All right, now those are locked in place. So if you look here, you can see the reason you had to spin to the right kind of counterintuitively is because that is where the bigger slot of this channel is. So when you're putting the tightening mechanism back in, you just kind of got to get into that big slot, clip in there, now spin it back over and to the left. Try to get the pliers in there again. Yep, so got that tightened in there, feels like it's locked in, and then yeah, just like when you're tightening up your boot, now you just got to pull the cables in, and um, yeah. she is so yes a little bit more complicated and much more of a hassle than relacing traditional snowboard boots um, but if you know what you're doing you have the right tools you have the right kit uh, you can ride boas for a lot longer than people think and um, yeah it just helps you save money I haven't had to buy boots in five years, and yeah, I'll keep gluing and repairing these until, until the wheels fall off, basically. So, I hope you guys like that one. A um, little different than the usual videos I'm doing out here, but uh, if you guys want to see more of my gear repair and kind of how I keep and maintain my snowboard and stuff, um, let me know, and I'll do more of these. All right, guys, I'm going to go snowboarding.